Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool 3D photo effect or this kind of like photo slide effect in Final Cut Pro 10. I believe this trend is pretty big on TikTok. I just saw this trend on Instagram. I've seen a whole bunch of people do this on Instagram, so I thought I want to go ahead and recreate it, but put my own spin, uh, my own spin on it, and make it a little bit different um, than you may normally see. Now, granted, you could still go to the original, but I'm not going to show you how to, you know, do my version right here. So I just kind of put my own spin and twist um, on the video. Now, maybe ask yourself, okay, how in the world do you find those um, animated backgrounds? So I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of Final Cut Pro 10 right here. I'm going to go ahead and just open up Chrome, and I actually use Canva for the backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead over here, open up Canva right here, and what you want to do is, obviously you want to create um, an account, but what you want to do is you want to go to search Canva and search up YouTube. Um, YouTube outro right here. So here's YouTube outro. So click on YouTube outro um, right here. And then here are a whole bunch of different templates. Some of them are premium, some of them you have to pay for, some of them you can get for free. So obviously, if they have this crown, um, it's for premium. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. This one is free. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. This is the one um, that I want right here. So this is what it looks like right here. So again, you could use this as like a YouTube uh, outro, but I want to use it as something different. So what I'm just going to go ahead and click on each little icon right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete all the things that just don't make sense as an anime background. And then of course you can go ahead and change the color. You could add templates. So I can go ahead and click on here. I can click on YouTube outro. If I want to change the template right here, I could add elements, change the color, um, or do anything that I want. But I'll go ahead and just leave this here just for the sake of the video right here. You can go ahead and head over here just to kind of preview um, the background right here, see if it's what you want. Now I'm going to head over here to download, and then obviously I'm just going to leave it as an MP4. There's no um, MOV. You could also create a GIF if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just download it right here. Download it as an MP4, so just go ahead and make sure you select an MP4 video. So go ahead and click here. Unfortunately, there's no MOV video, but you should be able to uh, transform an MP4 into an MOV um on apple by just renaming it so I just download the video as an mp4 uh, file so you can see the video is animated if you want to have that animate in i actually chose not to have an animate in and just kind of you know had the video as like a normal background as you can see right here it says red modern gamer girl is i guess the the name of the template so i'm gonna go ahead and just take the video right here go ahead and drag it on the desktop make sure you know it, it correctly came out on the desktop so let's go ahead and play it right here see if it looks okay you can go and kind of play a preview right here yeah that, that looks exactly how i want so i'm going to go ahead and just rename it just so it's not confusing so I'll name it background um example right here just so it's easy. now you could change it to mov i am just going to change it to um an mp or or leave it as an mp4 and then of course you know you obviously want to open up uh, final cut pro 10 to import the background and i'll just use the example project as you know as an example so i'll go ahead and let final cut pro 10 um, load up so you can see right here i'm on the example project right here i'm going to go ahead and click on import background example right here click on import selected right here so as you can see right here here is the background example so i'm going to go ahead and click on double you and then I'm gonna go ahead and just import it right here now as you can see right here it kind of animates in but I'm gonna wait till it's you know it's done animating and I'm gonna go ahead and start it right here so I'll go back a little frames right here I'll click on option um, left bracket right here and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead you know and just get rid of the volume I have absolutely no idea if this music is copyright free so yeah, I have no idea so what you want to do is you want to click on it right here control D um, one second I just change it to one second you can make it longer or shorter I think the Instagram version is like 0.3 seconds or 0.5 seconds but I'll go ahead and just do um, one second right here and we'll go ahead and just take a photo right here I'll just take this photo as an example right here Control D one second right here click on the photo 
and I'm just going to add a color board right here go to saturation and then just desaturate it right here and then I'm gonna change the scale to 95% um, right here you can of course you make it smaller or bigger uh, it depends on what you want now I'm gonna go ahead head over here and I'm gonna take the next photo put it on top control D um, one second right here so here, here it looks like right here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here and I'm just going to type in mask right here then we're gonna need a draw mask to cut out the subject right here so I'm gonna go out to 50% right here and I'm just gonna make you know like a really um, rough selection just for the sake of the tutorial obviously if this is like you know what um, a serious edit obviously put a lot more time and effort into the mask right there okay there you go so now we have the mask um, right here I'll go ahead and just uh, create a compound clip you don't have to but it just I think it makes the program run a lot smoother so there we go now we have the cutout right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a keyframe on position right here place a keyframe on position right here I'm gonna go to the end of the clip right here I'm going to change the top photo to negative 25 right here and I'm going to change the bottom one uh, x-axis to 25 right here so if I go ahead and play it right here with a to render as you can see there you go he slides to the left the photo slides to the right um, right there obviously you can make it you know a much larger um, animation if you want also what I like to do too is I like to go over here and I like to go ahead and change the keyframe path um, to linear right here and I'll go ahead and click Right here obviously you don't have to change the key path to linear you could change to smooth but I'm not trying to make the animation smooth I'm trying to make the animation go like in a straight line so in my opinion I think linear is better because it's not trying to create like weird curves or anything like that it's literally just animating in a straight line so in my opinion I think that looks better now of course you could also head over here I'll go over here to motion blur you could add some moderate motion blur now great to remember this is only like a one second animation so motion blur probably is not going make that much of a difference you're not really going to tell if it has motion blur or not but I, I always always encourage you to use some sort of motion blur just because you help make your video look a lot nicer as you can see there you go that's it right here one photo is going to the left one photo is going to the right right there I think that creates um, a really cool uh, effect right there so as you can see right here here is the final edit here is where you know I put a lot more time and effort into the mask right here into the keyframe and there you go it's pretty simple all you have is a cutout going to the left the photo underneath it going to the right and as you can see right here that's pretty much it it's a very simple very easy effect but you know it's going to take some time to go ahead and mask it out and then I just have like a text repeater right here so I just have you know coming on every single frame lasting for about one second and then you just have the text you know slowly come off right here and then I'll go ahead and head over here so I just have the text show up right here and then it kind of fills in um, right there and that's pretty much it right there and then I just have you know another text repeater um, effect right there and that's pretty much it that's how you create this really cool 3d um, photo effect in Final Cut Pro um, 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and see more effects, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.